why Tool Room decided to get involved so heavily in this conference. I personally have attended Bright Music Conference now for the last two years. Um, they asked me to uh, take part and be on the Brighton Music Advisory Board and I think this conference has got a lot to offer so I've brought down my whole staff, we've launched Tool Room Academy and we've done it live here today at the Dead Wax Social. The programme today has been, um, we've had Brock and Fitch come in and show you how to kind of build a bass line and how they uh, get their, their signature sound. We've also had two sessions from Funk Agenda, uh, one about how to start a track and the other about how to finish a track. In between that, we've been doing uh, live uh, a and demo feedback, so it's been a really, really successful day. You had many demos uh, dropping in? We had queues here from about quarter to nine in the morning, uh, roughly about 40 or 50 demos dropped in. We can't, unfortunately, get around to doing live feedback on all of them, but we've, uh, we've done around 10 today. And the remaining kind of 30, 40 demos we've got in, we'll be replying to all those people via email next week. Are you satisfied with Brighton Music Conference then? Yeah, totally. You know, for me, Brighton it, it is the perfect city for a conference like this. The UK needs uh, a, a, a real serious music conference for electronic music, and I think Brighton Music is definitely getting there. It's a great conference. What is the secret of success of Tool Room? Why everybody's looking at Tool Room and says, oh my God, this is such a nice label? I think the secret, is, it's no real secret, it's, it's hard work, it's passion, it's commitment. Uh, I've got a great team around me that make, make the label possible. Um, you know, Mark, Mark's, Mark's a fantastic talisman for the label. You know, he, 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 he's kind of been our focal point ever since day one. So, you know, you, you put that together with a great team and hard work, that's great. What artists we have to put our eyes on from Tool Room for the next month? Going forward, we've, uh, we've got releases coming up from uh, Matt Joe, two guys from Berlin. Uh, we've got releases coming up from Proc and Fitch, Reli Amez, Vice. Uh, Mark Knight's got a new one coming as well. So there's lots and lots to come in the next six months. Now Tool Room has the true house sound. And how do you define it? Predominantly, we're known for tech house. but. We do everything that ranges from house music to techno. House, tech house, techno, that's us. Do you adore vocal tracks? So you usually, you are focusing more on the instrumental, more underground, more dark. We look at both. For, for us, a good record is a good record. You know, be it with a vocal or be it just an instrumental track. Um, you know, I, personally, I can see, see kind of vocal house coming back uh, over the next 12 months. Um, I, I'm a big fan. You know, I grew up on US Garage. I come from a real kind of vocal background, so for me, yeah, I'd love to see a few more vocal house records. Now, we're up for signing them, definitely. Of course, Tool Room is very successful also with uh, sample, sample libraries. It's good for record labels to be able to operate on more than one front than just selling records. You know, for us, it keeps us in touch with the kind of producer market. That's why we can do things like the Tool Room Academy. And yeah, it's, it, it's tough selling records at the moment. So any other kind of ancillary products you could do as a label, it all helps. We've had great success with the samples. Uh, the other thing we've having a lot of success with is uh, our online courses that we do with Fader Pro. So uh, yeah, if you get a chance, go on to Fader Pro and have a look at our online courses. Some real great tricks, tips, tips and uh, some great educational bits there for you. England has a lot uh, to offer in the uh, house music scene and do you see a lot of talents coming up? This country is great you know for house music. We're looked at sometimes by the rest of the world to see what's cool, what's credible, what's coming up next and yeah you know, I've got a lot of faith in UK producers, some great things coming out at the moment. Do you like the intimate clubs or also the big club main stage sound? The tour, it's anything from about 800 to like 2000 capacity, that's where, that's where we like to be as a brand. Some of the bigger events, yeah well, we do, we do the festivals and what have you, but for me personally it's the kind of 800 to 2000 capacity places that where we can really shine. Which track of all your tracks that you have released so far is your absolute favourite and why? There's been so many. To be honest with you, one of my all-time favourites is, is Downpipe. Um, my brother, um, D. Ramirez, two, two amazing producers that I, I grew up with and, uh, 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 and obviously my brother's my brother. Dean's a good friend, D. Ramirez. And you put Underworld with them, who are again, you know, heroes of mine grew up on their music. It's, it, was, it was a great record for me to release on the label. You mentioned a lot your brother, so I have to ask if your relationship is always good or there are moments of tension as well. That we're brothers, we argue, we argue like mad, but we always come together for the greater good and the best of the label. So 
yeah, there's times I hate him, but deep down I love him. Are you going to have presence in Ibiza this year with events in uh, the Iceland? We won't be doing a full season this year in Ibiza. We have a couple, uh, I think two or three dates that we're going to announce. We're going to do kind of two or three just big special parties and really hit it. Um, around about August time so you know keep a look on the website we should be announcing within the next week or so people can uh, keep on sending you demos are you interested for new musicians totally we're always looking for new good music so yeah please keep the demos coming <laughs>